the anniversary of Cardinal John Henry Newman's birthday in 1801 is February 21st. Cardinal Newman was a great scholar, a church historian, a theologian, and above all, he was a man of prayer and who lived the Christian virtues in an exemplary manner. As we think of Newman, it is good to understand that Christian life is much more than about knowledge. In fact, in one of his early sermons, he spoke of the importance of doing, not only knowing. And he quoted words of our Lord about, about precisely about this, uh, this matter, in which our Lord tells us that it is not sufficient to know the things that he teaches us, to know his will, but we must put it into practice. us in another of his parochial and plain sermons, in fact the first one, titled Holiness, the Necessary, Necessary for Future Blessedness, he tells us how without striving for holiness, without responding to God's grace, man will not be happy in heaven. Man will not be able to attain heaven. In, in that uh, sermon, says that even if a person uh, who was not, uh, who did not live a holy life was admitted into heaven, he would not be happy there because he would not be able to, to love God. He, did, he would not have the habit of loving God. There he explains that uh, that person would, would not be ready. And uh, he says, because the world, or, or excuse me, heaven, is not like the world. He gives the example or the analogy of heaven being like a church, where one goes to pray, to worship God, to listen to God. And if someone here on earth is not happy or pleased to be in the church and to pray, well, he will not be happy in heaven where the saints adore and worship God continuously. In another of those early sermons, Newman speaks about uh, secret faults, about the importance of knowing our intentions and our failings, and trying to overcome them with God's grace. And in another of his early sermons, he speaks of the importance of living self-denial, denying ourselves in small pleasures, innocent pleasures, and denying ourselves in things that are wrong so that we can please God, so that we can know Him and serve Him. As we see then, Newman uh, insisted on holiness uh, as, a, as a requisite for attaining heaven. And in my biography of Newman, Passion for Truth, the life of John Henry Newman, I tried to emphasize how Newman was not only a great scholar and a great, a great writer, but he was a man of faith, a man of prayer, and a man who not only taught people about virtues, but who himself practiced those virtues.